Hey guys, welcome to another video, and we have some information about Desmond's son in this one. So, you know in Brotherhood how Clay warns us that Desmond has a son, and that he needs to find him. Well, it has been confirmed that this son is a sage, but before we get into any information, let's just take a look at this. Isabel, what brings you here? I came to gloat, actually. Look at this data. A sage! It gets better. Check his patrilineal line. Let's see. Patrilineal line. 19th century American Midwest, 18th century American Revolution, 16th century Ottoman Empire, 15th century Italian Renaissance. Oh my god. You don't mean. Yeah. The best part? His mother just walked him into one of your new clinics in New York City. Oh, I'd really like to strip him for parts like we did with Subject 17. Oh no, you don't. You had your chance with the Shroud. This asset is mine, and I won't be a party to the needless mutilation of a ten-year-old boy. It's inhumane. So what do you plan to do with him? Given his unique lineage, I think we should put him into an animus for the next fifty years. Think of the data we could extract. That's terribly old-fashioned. In any case, we should send Sigma Team to recover him. No. I'm going to keep an eye on him for now. We'll collect him when the time is right. So first thing I'd like to point out about that is that he says that he wants to strip him for parts like he did with Subject 17, which means that Desmond's body is no longer a thing, it's been completely mutilated and destroyed, and that's what happened to Desmond to study the memories of Edward and etc. But his son is also a sage, that's something, so it means that they could, they could do so much with him, like put him in the animus, know, find out what he knows, and they could find out more about Desmond's life through him as well, which is quite amazing really, because they can do so many things with this guy, he's like the key to it all is Desmond's son. However, Desmond could still be trapped inside the animus, that has not been disproved as of yet, but this son thing has been a long time coming, this is the major point, forget about Desmond being alive or dead for now, but his son is the main key, just think about what they could do with him, and this has been coming for a long time, so this ha they haven't been going off on any random path, the games have had a specific path, so this this was hinted at in Brotherhood because there was the, the, the truth in Brotherhood which was where Clay warned us about this. Voice, subject 16? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <clears throat> yes, subject 17. You're dead. I saw your blood. No time. It is far later than you know. Too late to save them. Who? She is not who you think she is. Everything you hope to become, everything you hold dear, it's already gone. Explain. Please. Eden. She... In Eden, find Eve. The key, her DNA. Tell me. I cannot. The son. Your son. Too weak. Must replenish energy. Don't go! I am with you till the end. Find me. In the darkness. Due to the fact that this asset is massive and important, Abstergo we're definitely going to be sending some Templar operative to retrieve him at some point, and we will be seeing him in a future game, which means that, oh my god, this has not been for nothing after all. So, in theory, Desmond is gone. Desmond's not going to come back. We can pretty much just determine that he won't be coming back and won't be making an appearance beyond maybe some animus advice for his new son, or his son that was warned by Clay in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood in the truth thing that I'd showed you before. But Desmond's son contains the same DNA as Desmond, and more because he's still got the mother's side on the mother's side the mother could have some of that dna in there as well but it's the history goes over a long timeline that is not out of the blue and not impossible but because he's a sage he has more he has memories of probably well he probably has the dna of juno as well and that means that bloody hell this asset is Irresistible for Abstergo, so we're definitely going to be seeing Desmond's son playing a massive, massive role in future Assassin's Creed titles, which is pretty exciting. 
But anyway guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, share, comment, tell me what you think about this down below in the comment section. Uh, I believe this is pretty exciting stuff and could set Assassin's Creed back on the track. Thanks for Dr. Orgon and Lasers for showing me this stuff, it's very interesting and has me really excited on the edge of my seat talking to you right now. Comment what you think about this down below, don't worry about spoilers, Syndicate Space has been ruined for me, as it is. So thanks for watching guys, like, subscribe, share, comment, etc. And I'll see you all in the next one with another video, so thanks for watching guys. See ya!